In this video, we touch upon the topic of vaccination cards, which will be issued in the months to come. Due to Operation Warp Speed, a public-private partnership initiated by the U.S. government to facilitate and accelerate the R&D and distribution of COVID-19 vaccines, the federal effort must be mindful of a variety of state laws regarding medical information and notifications. States will also run their own notification programs, another important part of the plan to make sure Americans are properly vaccinated. Millions of Americans are expected to receive the new COVID-19 vaccination in coming months will need to take two doses of the drug. And the U.S. government says they'll issue a vaccine card and use other tools to help people follow through with immunizations. Vaccination paper cards are to be filled out and given to the individuals, reminding them of their next vaccine due date. As far as vaccine kits, the simple image shows the kits include a card, a needle, a syringe, alcohol wipes, and a mask. The image comes as two companies, Pfizer and Moderna, await emergency use authorizations, or EUA, in the U.S. A panel with the U.S. Food and Drug Administration is expected to discuss whether to authorize the EUAs on December 10 or 17. Should Pfizer and Moderna get the authorization, the vaccine's first shipments could happen December 15 and 22, respectively. Once the vaccines are distributed, they will be administered in a variety of settings from pharmacies and doctor's offices, health clinics, and special vaccination sites. The United States has said if both Pfizer and Moderna win FDA emergency use authorization in December, they could distribute 40 million doses of vaccine by the end of the month. Each vaccine requires two doses, so that's enough to fully vaccinate 20 million people. Every dose administered will be then reported to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. The health provider giving the shots will fill out the card with the name of the vaccine manufacturer, lot number, the date of the shot, the name of the healthcare provider or clinic, that provided it, and when it's time for the patient to come in for the second shot. Patients will have their vaccine dose and then come back either three or three, four weeks later to get their second vaccine dose to complete the immunization schedule. In order to store the cards effectively and have them in hand, many places are planning to ask patients to voluntarily provide a cell phone number so they can get text message telling them when and where their next dose is scheduled to be administered. People who receive the vaccine cards We'll be encouraged to take a photo of them or keep them in their wallet. With more to come, we will be following this situation and until then, stay safe.